it looks a little choppy out here the current has definitely picked up or kind of being pushed back in which is good for on the way back but the waves have definitely picked up right here on the point ready to get in the water so we're heading out to the south shore i think today we're going to be diving with aqua action is it and we're going to be doing secret harbor getting under the waves there the second thing we're going to be doing today is evan has all these sharks on his shirt i have told him by the end of the day i'm going to touch every single one So I think today's dive starts with a kick out out to that point out there, yeah? Yes, yeah, that was part of the briefing and we're gonna descend near that point and then go underwater around it and check out the five fingers. Okay, so in theory, once we're underwater, we should see kind of these, these reefs that make five finger reef mm -hmm. and we can kind of follow those as navigation aids and obviously we'll take our compass headings and make sure that we we come back. Um, should we turn around at maybe 1700? That sounds conservative. Okay. Perfect. Let's do that. 1700 PSI will be our turnaround. And I think our average depth here, we might want to confirm this, but was it about 30 feet? I it's think a, so. It's a pretty shallow dive. Mm -hmm. So we know it's shallow. I think 30 feet would be a good average. So let's keep that in mind though. If we find ourselves going deeper, let's just kind of reassess underwater what's, what's going on. Right. Okay, cool. But it looks like it's a, pretty healthy swim out there maybe 15 20 minutes total surface kick yeah we don't know what the uh, currents like at all but definitely the surface looks great yeah so a couple things we can look at right there's some swimmers out there they look like they're just kind of bobbing around so not much there the boats are all kind of pointed in one direction so mm -hmm. that's a good clue as to kind of what's going on I think they're pointed with the wind here and not so much with the with the current uh, we can also look at these mooring balls out here they're a good indication they don't seem to really be trending no uh, you know too hard one way or the other so it looks like it's pretty good easy kick out for us we can definitely do this obviously once we get around the point there who knows who knows uh, it looks like it's less protected and certainly up a little bit but still mm -hmm. well within our our comfort zone yeah yeah it does okay cool all right well let's get our gear together get in the water Since we're navigating out to this dive site by ourselves without a guided dive this time around we did get a good solid dive briefing on where we're headed again it looks like a nice easy shallow dive for us and something that's well within our uh, comfort and experience and certification and training and all that good stuff so we we feel confident we can do this nonetheless navigation is going to be really important to us because we're unfamiliar with the site again we need to make sure that we know where we're going and how to get back so we're going to use some natural navigation the landmarks out there that like that point are really really helpful um, also going to take 
three different compass headings. So I'm going to shoot a bearing. Looks like it's about 040 degrees right here on the dive shop in the boutique. I'm going to take a second bearing, I think, on the point over here as well. Looks like that's about 315 degrees. And then uh, let's grab some palm trees over here too. So about 130 degrees. So all these things can kind of help triangulate us on the way out. As we get out there, I'm gonna shoot some other bearings just before we go down, just so we can help triangulate uh, where we're at in our positioning so that we have a good idea on how to get back into the bay from underwater. kind of being pushed back in which is good for on the way back but the waves is definitely picked up right here on the point never did hit five finger reef on this dive, so we're going to have to save that for next time. To get to the reef, we would have need to made a right hand turn and head out about 100 yards into the bay even further. But the rocks were definitely worth the effort. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely check out another one here at the end. And if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button below and that bell notification so that you never miss a dive. 
But guys, we will see you underwater.